Hello Internet and welcome to the short and sweet guide to running Fractrate as a Linux server on a Linux machine. In this video I'm going to discuss the problem of having a Fractrate default installation and running the Fractrate bot in a terminal window. Then I'm going to show you some advantages of running this Fractrate as a service on a Linux machine. And after that I'm going to show you the Fractrate files we are going to create and edit and their relations. Next we are going to create the service file so that we can start it with uh, systemd. And then we are going to edit the config file so that it can load a given strategy. And then I'm going to show you the service commands so that it can start and stop the bot or uh, create a service from it. And finally we are going to run the bot as a service and check the syslog files to check if it's running correctly. In this video I am running Linux in a virtual environment with Linux Mint as my distribution. In a previous video I have shown how to install Fractrate on this virtual machine. I will leave a link in the description to that video. You can get Fractrate uh, from the website uh, or from GitHub. The setup I show in this video is inspired by the settings that are written on the advanced setup page, which you can find in the GitHub repository from uh, Fractrate. Why configure Fractrate as a service, you could ask? Well, the whole point of running a trading bot is that you don't want to sit the whole day behind your computer to make trades. Uh, also, it's a lot easier to let the bot do the mechanical trading because there's no human emotion involved. However, after installing Fractrate on your machine, it is supposed to run the whole time. Executing the bot in a terminal window will force you to keep the terminal open the whole time, because if you close it, the bot will stop as well. If this happens, the bot will not trade. So, when your bot uh, places orders on the exchange, they will be executed. However, if you close the terminal window, then you close the bot. And when exit signals arise, then uh, there is no bot that exits the trade. So this can cause big losses, which you don't want, of course. There are ways to execute a program and push them to the background. You can close the terminal and the program will still run in the background of your computer. Uh, examples are executing with ampersand after the command and using the no help option and either helper programs like a screen or a tmux. However, when your computer or server reboots, maybe due to a power outage or maintenance, the same problem arises uh, as with running the Fractrate in a terminal. The bot is stopped and will not work unless you manually start it again. So you have to find a better solution for that. And that solution comes in the form of running the bot as a service. This way, when the computer reboots, the bot also gets restarted. This is the same as other services like, uh, for example, SSH or networking services on a PC. There is also another big advantage by running the trading bot this way. You can run multiple bots at the same time on one server. This way you can run a bot on an hourly strategy, but also uh, run another bot on the daily strategy on the same server. Of course the amount of trading bots running on a server also depends on the capacity. So be careful because when the server stops for some reason all the bots are stopped. One last remark. Because Linux Mint runs systemd instead of sysv in it, the service file and the commands will be based uh, on this server initializer. So the examples I'm giving will not work on each and every Linux system. And finally, before we get a real hands on, this is an overview of the files that work together. First of all, the fractrate.service file has to be created. This is the file that will be read by systemd and will be used to configure the service. This file will point to the config.json file from Fractrate itself. This file contains the generic configurations of Fractrate and will finally point to the strategy file, which of course contains the strategy for the trading bot. To create the Fractrate service file directly, use the following command sudo nano etc. systemd system Fractrate service and you can uh, immediately see that the location is in the system directory here and the file name uh, will be fractrate.service. You have to insert the following lines and uh, there you, you can read them over here. Uh, take special note of the working directory. This should be your own installation directory. 
and you can see over here that the dot environment directory is pointed to the virtual directory which was created by the python installation of fractrate so you should take care that this will be a correct line in your environment i will not go over each and every option but you should at least take note of the lines that say that when error occurs the service will be restarted and the logging output will be uh, to the syslog service and those are these lines uh, you can search the internet about other options uh, on the fract rate side itself uh, i have used uh, multiple bots this way and uh, in my environments it always works so with a little bit of luck it will work immediately on your server as well to create a service file i've made some preparations uh, i will put these preparations also on my github page and uh, it will be pretty straightforward just copy these lines like this oh. and uh, in this way you create an empty file in the system directory of etc and when i paste these lines over here and do an exit i have created the correct service file the next step is to edit the config file from fractrate uh, normally when you create a new config file the last section will be looking like this and we have to change it so it looks like this again i've created a text file which contains the lines that i have to paste into the config.json file from fractrate uh, take special note of these lines because they also have to point to your specific Fractrate installation. Let's go ahead. Just copy and paste it to your terminal window. Scroll down to the end. And you can see here that this section uh, is the default configuration section. I have to delete these lines and then I can copy and paste it into my terminal so it looks like this save it and you're done there's actually not much to say about strategy uh, the fractrate config file should point to it and when the service is starting the config file automatically loads the strategy uh, just use a good strategy and test it thoroughly and to point out, this is the specific line in the config file that points to the strategy. After we have finished making and editing the necessary files, it's time to actually use them as a service. These commands can be used to start, stop and check Fractrate as a service. The final step is to let systemd know that we want to start Fractrate as a service when the system boots. Uh, the actual commands that make the service load at system boot are uh, enable Fractrate service and when you don't want Fractrate to run uh, at system boot you should disable the Fractrate service I would also like to point out that every time you change something to the service file from Fractrate then you should do a daemon reload of the systemd service and finally the proof of the pudding is in the eating so we have to start the Fractrate service and see if it's working or not just copy and paste this line to start the freight trade service and let's see what's happening let's copy ok so no error message is yet let's see what's the status it looks like the service is running and I don't see any errors we can stop the service also by using the stop method and finally what we can do is enable the service so that it will boot at system startup great let's start the service again takes a while let's check if it's running and finally we can see the log file to see what's going on
great state is running everything looks fine to me thank you for watching this video please click the like button subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get updated on new videos see you next time